Hey, stop the f car. Stop. What? You stay here? No. What are you doing here? No. Why does it matter? Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Hey, watch what you're doing because I'll punch you in your Don't ever forget that. I'll punch you in your head. Let me go. Hey. Let me explain. No, let me explain to you what we're doing. Put your hands on me and I don't respond. I don't give a I'm responding to an alarm call. Put your hands on me and I didn't turn up on you. Turn around. Watch your hands on my mama. Nobody's under arrest. Stop me. Turn the turn around. Ma'am, turn around. You're not under You're not under arrest. Listen, don't you ever put your hands on me, I'll spit on you. Stop under arrest. Stop. Get hey, down. Hey, what the f is wrong with you? Get down. Hey, what's wrong with you? Bro, chill, bro, chill. Bro, 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 Get down. Move in the car. Move it. Stop pushing the ground. Get down. Move. Well, okay, baby. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, you know. Now. Move. Turn your hand behind your back. Oh, Get the move. Look, baby, just chill, baby. Oh, my soul. This better be lucky because I was took off of your oh, mama. Hey, you Quite frankly, I'm shocked we are seeing this body cam footage because what we are watching is beyond troubling. I'm trying not to hurt you. I am trying not to hurt you. Turn around. Sit down. Sit down. I said sit down. Sit down. And you know you're wrong, and I take your whole job. Oh my soul! This my wrist is breaking. Come on, bro. What the? Come on, bro. It's not breaking. Fix it, bro. If I said it hurt, it hurt, and I will spit on you. Fix my wrist. What the? This is too long. What are you doing? Stop touching me. Stop pulling away. Stop touching me. My wrist hurts. Turn around. I'm gonna pull away. What the? Bro, you doing too much, bro. You touch me, I'm gonna kick your. Don't touch me. What wrong with you? You see, you got me. The. I kick this whole car, my mama. Listen. Move! Don't, don't go! She can talk to me. You can't say shit to me. Check her You cuffs. can't say shit to me. Fix my up! I will if you would just go so for a second, okay? After two more sheriff's deputies enter the frame, the original officer does this. Listen. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't speak to me, bro. Don't talk to me. I don't know what's going on. Came over here. Oh, man. He, he was sitting here driving, bro. They snapped her out of the car. Slammed her on her those traveling with the woman who was brutalized want nothing to do with this officer. You can't say to me. Fix my up. I will if you would just for a second, okay? In a fellow cop's body camera, here is the officer who made the arrest at the scene. I'm getting, I'm getting, I don't care. Open my door. That you don't care. My wrist hurts. in my car now. Don't push me because I can get in my get, Okay, then get in. My wrist right. hurt though. Get my in. My wrist hurt. Okay. Get in. If you, wrist in. Hurting, if you calm you. down, we'll help you out, okay? Don't push me, bro. I'm not going to tell you. Put your feet in the car, please. Can you try to get away? I will listen I will to you, help you but she cannot be in my face. Okay. Neither right. one of them. Get, get out of my face. It also captures this woman being placed in a squad car. To reiterate, this woman did not do anything wrong, and we know this via the local media. Fox 35 Orlando wrote, investigators say a sergeant was responding to a burglary call, but he accidentally stopped one street over from the correct address. In the video, you see the sergeant try to talk to a driver pulling out of a driveway when things escalate quickly. Even though he's in the wrong location, he believes he's in the right location. He's trying to establish a report. She wants to drive away. He reaches in to turn the car off to prevent a pursuit or anything from happening to anybody. She just unloads on him with profanity, said Sheriff Mike Chitwood. All right, listen. I'm going to reach you your rights real quick. All right? I'm telling you guys that oh, God, I can confirm where I was, and I can even confirm my activities. I recently logged off of the VPN at my job. Okay. At what time? Roughly before I came over here, before I called you guys. Okay. But I'm telling you, you guys got the wrong guy. Okay. The description of the car, of the guy that took off from your car is just like yours. But that's half of Miami. Bald-headed okay. with a beard. Uh, even if he had dreads, it dreads with a beard. Okay. But then that's 
it's not fair. I mean, like, like I said, my kids, I called because my car got stolen. So they place him in a SWAT car and question him. My kids are over there. They don't even know what's so going what on. So what time was your car stolen? I told you, probably around about five. I didn't pay attention to the time. I really just jumped out of the car to go see. That's it. If you want, like I said, we can go. Like, I had my kids and stuff like that. Dropped them off. Came over to, to say hi. And I went, I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't. I mean, like I said, I know the people that stay across there, over here, all over the place. I don't know what happened. My car just, somebody jumped in, drove off. And I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't do it. I mean, literally, I, I mean, why would I call the police? <laughs> I mean, I called because my car is stolen. I mean, I, how me and my kids are going to get home? My pillow, my, my work ID, my work stuff, all of that stuff is in there. Why would I... That's why I'm like, what, what's, why am I in handcuffs? If I'm calling them and, and, and I'm... Uh, just give me a second. You've never been arrested before? No. You sure about that? Yeah. Never been arrested. Ex-military. What's the last for your social? He really asked, are you sure about that? The hell? Scott is now suing the Miami PD. Here's why. This video just came to light after more than three years. Scott's 2006 black Jeep Compass was stolen from outside his aunt's house in Buena Vista. Roughly half an hour after making a 911 call, Scott was taken away in handcuffs by the Miami Police Department officers. He had called to report the theft and help get his car back. Why? Officers believe Scott was the perpetrator of the crime, not the victim, wrote the Miami New Times as Alex DeLuca. I'm telling you, you guys have the wrong guy. Scott, a black man wearing a dark colored shirt over a white undershirt at the time, can be seen telling an officer in a body-worn cam footage obtained by the outlet. The description of the guy who took off in your car is just like yours, the officer responds. But that's half of Miami, Scott says. A few minutes later, Scott laughs to himself. I mean, why would I call the police? Scott was charged with leaving the scene of an accident, false reporting of a crime, failure to carry a concealed weapon license, and possession of marijuana, charges that were eventually dropped by the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. In November 2021, it was reported Scott was suing the department along with five of its officers for the incident where he says he was wrongfully accosted after reporting his car stolen instead of being helped. Scott's attorney is seeking $500,000 in damages after he claims officers Jonathan Guzman, Michael Bloom, Brandon Williams, Miguel Hernandez, and Randy Carriel unlawfully searched, falsely imprisoned, and unwarranted prosecution. Scott says none of that should have happened as he was the victim who called police to say his car was stolen, yet somehow he was the one arrested. The police report said Scott hit another car, fled the scene, and filed a false police report saying the car was stolen. He told NBC6 at the time, don't know how, but they said I did it.